This show has been sponsored by Sijuan News Guys. Hi, so I'm down here at Pencho's Machine Shop in Kelly with Pencho. How you do, Pencho? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so first of all, is that your first name or your last name? Last name. Okay, so Machine Shop Kelly, you get all sorts of things. Like, and I, as you viewers probably do, I don't know that much about cars at all. So um, I'm just here to get some advice. So SR20 2JZ. Yeah. There's a couple of the most popular um, in engines yeah. in Trinidad and Tobago on the track and on, on the street. Um, if you want more performance from either of those engines, what are your suggestions? What can someone do to come here and get a bit more performance from the, those engines? Well, it all depends on if the engine is a turbocharged engine, you could just um, shave the cylinder head, increase the um, compression ratio, but you have to buy the gasket with a thicker gasket to take off what you take off from the cylinder head and you buy a bigger turbo. And that will increase your thing. You could t buy high compression um, performance pistons and body block to a bigger size. Right. So you'll get more power, more speed, and you could change your connecting rods, put um, aluminum rods. You could put um, you change the rod, you change the flywheel, you change the crank, you could put a steel crank so the engine will have a faster turnover. So you'll get your performance that you're looking for. If it's a if it's not a turbocharge, you could shave the head by, by taking off a certain amount from the cylinder head and increasing the the um, compression ratio in the engine, so the compression ratio will increase, and you do the same thing to your bottom half, body block with a um, high compression piston, I mean high performance pistons, same rod, connecting rods, bearings, and the flywheel, and the steel crank, right? Then you could do, people just do things to the head and all, the way you could do is um, put three angle valve seats on the head, which is a thinner seat, so you'll get a better performance with the head. You burn less fuel and all too. So you look at the fuel in that you're burning, and the performance that you want. So yeah, everything has to balance properly so you'll get the performance that you're looking for from the engine. The same thing with the 2JZ. If it's a turbocharged, well, turbocharged engine is low compression engine. You don't need to raise the compression ratio. You need to buy either get a bigger turbo and you do your work to the bottom half of the engine where you'll get your performance from the engine. And majority of the time it's the pistons that just cost the money. So it's a, a lighter piston, right? And you, you put, you, when you're born in the block, you have to put a certain amount of clearance because the piston gives you more expansion under that heat because you remember it's more high performance engine you're going to build. So you get a little more heat. So you have to give it a little more clearance than a normal engine. Okay. And this gives you aspects that will give you the clearance that you have to work with. So, so what they, they have to do? They bring the piston into you? Yes, you, get, you, you do sell the piston. Most place, places in China do sell the piston. But most do, do or? Yeah, they do sell the pistons. But most, most customers rather to get it online, they save some money and they bring it in. When they bring in the piston, they bring the block. I asked them to bring the main bearing caps, so I bought on the main bearing caps on the block before I bought it and bought it with the caps. When I finished bought the block to suit the clearance to the pistons, when I polish it to give it the piston to wall clearance now, I use a torque plate. So when I, I torque it down to the specs, put it with the torque plate and then put horn inside the block, polish the block. When I polish the block down from top to bottom with the torque plate, you get the same amount of clearance. It don't be no cone shape thing. The same clearance that you get on top of the ring is the same clearance you'll get to the bottom of the ring also. And your performance good. Yeah. Piston the wall clearance perfect, so you don't have no problem. You can start when you build the engine, start revving it out one time. Okay. You don't have a breaking engine, like long time thing, the breaking engine. And uh, how long does it take for you to do like a, a project like that? A project like that, if you drop it in the morning, within two days' time, you get back everything. In two days' time, sure, it's here. Excellent. Well, that, that's a lot of information there. Um, I hope you've been able to take that in. Um, how can they get in touch with you? Like, are you on Facebook or? No, I'm not on Facebook. Uh, uh, have you got a number that they can yes. call you? My number is 484-7442. Pancho's Machine Shop. Kelly Village, Karani. Kelly Village. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, j just to ask you, like, um, I presume a lot of people have brought, like, um, their cars to you for, for or engines to you for um, performance enhancing or, or work? Well, most, most people are just come from the small, the small islands. When it's from St. Lucia. Who, who's the most uh, known or popular um, racer or performance man that you've done some work for? No, well, I, I used to work for Speedway. Right. Speedway was a Frankie Bodram. Well, that's, that's the man I learned most of my things from, right. and that's the man I gained most of my experience with modification and things. Right. So I said, mostly, well, when time the body is vehicle and thing, well, I was circuit racing. Right. But since drag racing come to Trinidad, you know, from your, from your old time doing things and again gaining experience, you could do your own thing by yourself then and do things for people that which could work. and. 
<coughs> most of the excuse me, most of the time people can't afford the pistons so what you do is substitute a piston you get a piston with the same height same pin height but the ball and the piston is a little bigger and you substitute that and you bore the block for them and you get the performance that you want like this fellow they call diesel john from carney he was the first person that dragged a diesel engine in Trinidad, right now Diesel John. Yeah, Diesel John. And we, my, I used to work by Papi's machine shop. We do the work for him. I bought the block and thing for him with a different piston. And that's how we get a performance. And he do the other things, little knickknacks people just do on the inside. They don't tell nobody. So that's how he does get a performance. I have it. So, so you used to do some work for Frankie Boudreau? Yes. What? I was in the racing team. Yes, yeah, so team, yes. I used to do, well, I used to work in the machine shop for them. That was Speedway? Yes, yeah, Speedway in Sao. Okay. And then I come out on my own now. I work in different shops all over the country that decide now time to start on your own. But the beauty with me now, it have nobody working with me, so I do my own work. Right. I take my time and do my own thing. But you get a lot of work from abroad? Mostly on the islands, down the islands. Right. Just get work. People right. just come in when I with the boat. Grenada and thing? Yes. Right. Come in with the boat and set it down with the boat. I do it and put it back on the boat for them and they're satisfied with it. What I try my best is to satisfy people, give them what they ask for. And if some people come, and they do have the idea, they say, hey, I want this do, but you, you try to correct them by telling them, hey, it's not so it had to do. This is how it had to do. This is the currency. Because most people just forgot piston when you're boring a block. It have a difference between used piston and new pistons. A used piston already cook. It don't have any expansion. A new piston have expansion. So when you're boring with a new piston, they give it two tall pistons to work clearance if it's a diesel. If it's a used piston, we give it the, the least and these half tall to a tall clearance. It all depends on the body block. Because each block area a different size. So if it's a five inch, three inch ball, four inch ball, you know what to do with them. Truck and them, you have to give it plenty more clearance than a five tall piston to work clearance because they have more expansion. It comes same with the racing pistons to expand more. So you have to give it more clearance. If it normally give a two tall, you give it a three tall to a four tall clearance. That's like for expansion and the heat. So the piston will scorch and stick against the wall. So it, when it expands, it have the perfect clearance, ring clearance, everything perfect. You don't have any complaint. When was the last time you used down Wallerfield? Oh, how long? Why? Since they do it over half me, I want to go to the circuit racing at the advertising right now. CMRC? Yes. Right. So like we're going to see you down there? Yes, I would like to go oh, to that. Okay. All right. That's the CMRC coming up on the 24th. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys down there. Yes. Thank you very much, You're Pancho. Welcome. Do you want to give your number again? My number is 484-7442. Pancho's Machine Shop, Kelly Village, Karen. Thank you. <laughs>